Hey, my fans, I notice a lot of you, you struggle with basic algebras, especially when you want to solve small problems like that, you will fail because say, you need to know the basics. And one of the basics we need to understand now these indices. If you know some indices and the laws with the inside, it they affect too many things we need to solve for this life. And if you know if you use and they solve, now what life is that too? So I say we can come break and down. So maybe I'll just touch one of the laws, each of the laws, and they drop some small example how you take run the laws sharp sharp as the heart. Just make sure you watch this video to the end. But if you never like and make it like and because if you forget them, like and keep now. If you never subscribe, subscribe or if you the first time with the come. But if you don't do before, uh, just make sure say you share this video and like too. So what will be the first thing we will do before we talk about the laws, what will be indices. See, when you see something like this, indices, maybe you don't see something like this index before. At the same time, you know, this one and I waiting to call for English singular. This one I need to call plural. So that means if I get something like good, 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 good na singular, good na plural. As if say this one is singular, this one is plural. You go change them from goat. If they kill this image, you chop. <laughs> you go now goat all of them be. Maybe this one only one goat. This one a goat way plenty pass one, maybe two or three. So now we call them plural. Uh -huh. So this one a singular. This one a index. Index. This one singular. This one plural. Index indices. So they get the same meaning. So what if be index? What if be indices? If you understand the meaning of index, now you be the same thing with indices. Index now something we do on top. Another name if you call this index, we call an exponent. <laughs> My right hand down. <laughs> if you call an exponent, exponent, exponent. You know you have what we call exponential. Exponent. If you another name for that, if you call a power. <laughs> if you call a power, that one we call power. <laughs> power. You know when person they on top sit now, now in the power. So if person they power, you go they rule people with they down. Those who with they down, they call the base. No way they don't go power. So for indices, two key words we will use now index and R. See how? if I get something like a to the power of x, you see that x? You see where you wrong go? You don't go lap for up. So you call them power, or you call them index, or you call them exponent. Then this one we can do that now. Now it be the base. So if you know if you see things like this, maybe two raised to the power of three. Just take three as index two base. Don't forget these things. So everything will help you understand though. <laughs> so now as I want to talk about the laws of indices now, at these things they will carry corona. This base power now you hear me the talk. Base power, base power. Okay, how many laws will you get? Some test will say now seven laws. Some tests will say now six law. Which one will one agree and which one will not agree? They could just do and they go. Because whether you say now seven or you say now six, I don't get problem with them. My one is also stay the one we use the solve problem for this life. Now it's not savvy with that. We know for the same thing. If you like this video, share them. They cannot remove person's teeth. Oh, yeah, now we continue. So, what if the laws where indices get? If you savvy the laws of indices, anytime I want to do the one of logarithms, as you know, we get problem. You know, we get problem. Laws. Of indices. The first one they call them product law. If you don't want to call them product law, another name for product law. If you call them multiplication, multiplication law, multiplication law. Now, what is this law they talk about? This multiplication law, product law, they stay say when they multiply the same number of the base, you know what it be base. I don't tell you base now, that one is down. When they multiply the same, when they multiply the same number of the base, the powers where each of these base, each of those base gets must be added. That means the base where they the same, we take one of them and add the power. See the illustration here. If I get a to the power of m times a to the power of n, when they multiply, see times now, when they multiply the same base, which is this law say me do take one of the common base where they multiply and add the power. Why they add the power? Because it they multiply the basis. So, for example, if I get 2 raised to the power of 3 times 2 raised to the power of 1, if the basis they the same, take one of the common base and add the power. If you add the power, wait till this on the numbers, now you will finish work. 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 1, now 4. 2 raised to the power of 4, now waiting. 
Now 16 have you? Now 16 write 16. Come be the final answer. It says I apply the product law. It shall be. I'll give you one. Oh, yeah, try this one now. 3 raised to the power of 7 times 3 raised to the power of 0. <laughs> I don't put it for one gear. <laughs> but if you know if you get that correctly, don't worry yourself. Just they watch the video. Go again. We are going to talk about this particular law. It will make you understand now. But even if you know fit, no problem. No, no, no props at all. Just make sure you say fix this one. Number two, make you talk about division law. Either I call it division law, or if you call it quotient, quotient, quotient law. I don't despair like all these people where they study medicine and surgery for level 200 when they teach them bad and writing. I don't they write like them now. Now division right here, or division law, or quotient. I mean, if they study, now no, joke at you. <laughs> so it will be this division law. I think this is the law say when you get the same number of the base when you divide the same number of the base see i'm now the base not the same when you divide the same number of the base the powers where you get make you subtract them so you got a take one of the common base subtract the power like this that be the law very simple as simple as abc so we, i want to take apply them now if you get uh, maybe well seven raised to the power of Three, my use three. Divide by seven raised to the power of maybe one. Wait till the outcome because the base did the same. Take one of them and wait till we do for the power. Three minus two. So minus one now. Huh? And one way did there. Three minus one. Uh -huh. So three minus one are waiting. Three minus one are two now. So wait till be seven squared. Now seven times seven will be waiting. Forty nine. Forty nine can be the answer. One time you say, I'll give you your own. I take now. Maybe you know, let's say I do, I don't can't give you. If you get my this one, one of four raised to the power of five divided by four raised to the power of uh, four. Wait <laughs> will be the answer. Now, I'm with the second law of indices, but I don't show you. The third law of indices, you suppose I'm finish this one, I'm not clean now. I use that space. The third law of indices, they call zero law. What is zero law when they talk about the fans? They very very simple. Zero law say, zero law say anything we raise to the power of zero. Now one no. Anything we raise to the power of zero. Now one same. If you get a raised to the power of zero, the answer now one. You let it negotiate. You don't finish. Even if I get one thousand raised to the power of zero, the answer now one. What if I get something like this? Maybe a x squared over five b uh key like this or is power zero i found that one anything where they won't be inside they'll consign you about <laughs> zero day on top that one they can play first <laughs> so you understand the zero law now i tried this one i know say now it's they fine if you get a k to the power of uh zero <laughs> uh well like this ready for the answer put up a comment section then you enter the next one number four they call negative index you get the one we call negative negative index this one is even hard negative na minus we know if negative na minus index you know in the center power something we do on top that means you talk about negative of a particular number we do on top if you get something like this a to the power of minus m negative index you say that m and minus the on top negative index so what if the law the law they tell you say Anytime we see a to the power of negative of any particular number, that negative, pay attention to them. What you will do? Change that negative sign to inverse. Change that negative sign to reciprocal. That's in our two network or inverse. But not the same thing in view. They will say not different. Not the same thing, no. So what will be the inverse? What will be reciprocal? A one over. That will call one over. The real name for this thing for math now, inverse. You know what call an inverse? Mark on where? Inverse. Call them. Repeat after me now, inverse or reciprocal. Uh -huh. So one over nine is waiting change to that one over now minus so. So if this minus change to one over, which it might not be a to the power of n, that a to the power of n. Now you go lab there. Now you be the rule. Now you may give they give you all something like this. Two raised to the power of minus three. You can easily say, oh, as the minus, you could change to one over then two raised to the power of three. So as I said, wait to be two raised to the power of three. It means two times two times. So you wait. It's as I become one over eight.
If you even change the answer as one over eight back to this form as eight raised to the power of minus one, I will lie for you. Eight raised to the power of minus one, and because that one over will still go back to minus. Uh -huh. So <laughs> in the end, I'll be, I have tried this one now. Let it be two raised to the power of minus five. Look out for comment section. Next one, law five. Mark clean this one comment. This law five, I want to tell you now in the column, some people know, some test with the column product power law. Some test with the column power law. Me, yeah, I like to the column product power law, sure. It is almost a seal power law for plenty test book. You know me say that the different thing and the same thing. Wait till with this power law. If you get A, there's the power of M, then N for outside. Let me be power law or product power law. See why I like put my own product. This M and N to multiply. Bracket format means multiplication. So nothing will concern the base. The base will see they carry all of them. So that way they up like that. M and N will multiply. So if M multiply N, you get M N. I mean the law. I mean the law. If you even swap themselves, if you even say this is the same thing as uh, A to the power of N and then M there side. So if you swap them, because as the multiplication, if you swap and this thing, you will see the application. We will carry and solve questions after this particular video. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that whenever I upload new video, you will receive notification. I will like for you. So, wait till you can do again. Make you use and solve problem. Make you see whether if you work out. If you get two raised to the power of why even like two like this? Say two raised to the power of two into three like this. Uh -huh. Instead of the struggle, say two raised to the power of two, four. Four raised to the power of three. Don't give four times, four times four. Just say two raised to the power of three times two. We'll give you six. And what if you two raised to the power of six? If two raised to the power of five now thirty two, two raised to the power of six will be sixty-four. I'm the answer. Yeah, see, say now the same thing we will say two raised to the power of two now four. Four raised to the power of three will be four times so that will be sixty-four. But I don't follow that format. I follow the law what they teach you. She she it it flow with me now. Uh -huh. Now the fifth law with that too. the one we are saying at the sixth law, law six. Now we call fractional index. Fractional index. That will be like say sound big. Fractional not just normal fraction, we know. Wait to be fraction. Fraction now when you get something like how would they even express fraction? When you get numerator, they divide denominator. M na numerator, n na denominator, and be fraction. That's so why you express fraction. Fraction are part of a whole number or part of a set. So now which you can do like this. Now fractional index. Let me say fraction like this good there as a power index. Now you remember. So I can't get if I get something like a raised to the power of m over n like this. So which you can do when we see this kind of question. I wait. I want to teach you now. For this fractional index, see. What's going to happen? We say this denominator we see shape m na numerator n na denominator. This denominator will change. What you go change to become? You go change to become the nth root. Because the n way there now. You will change to become the nth root. See the spelling nth root. If you are not two, now in the for down here will be square root. If not three, it will be cube root. If not four way there down here, it will be fourth root. You understand? So n will change to the nth root of a of this a. All raised to the power of this m with the on top. Check with our do. The denominator will change to the nth root of this base a. All raised to the power of the power. Uh, sorry, the numerator m. If one is a solve problem, I want to do The fig gives something like eight raised to the power of two over three. So make you solve this kind of problem. I want to do Three weighted down as the denominator will make a change to the, the cube root of this eight. All raised to the power of two. Uh -huh. What will be the cube root of eight? Cube root of eight, we talk about three numbers we look alike. We will multiply themselves. We we'll give you eight. What will be that number now? Two now. Because two times two times two now, we we'll give you eight. So you can't get this one as this one. Where there will be two. Raise the power of this two. We we'll give you four. So if you like this one, I'll give you to solve. Yeah, two. I never give you to solve. Oh, yeah, now I'll make you solve this one. If you get 27, raise to the power of, make a, make a simple for you to. Maybe four over three. What will be the answer of this one? Put up a comment section. For this one, if you get like three raised to the power of uh, two and then five, with the answer, it will be a large number. You put up a comment section. So, now so the laws be very, very simple. Now, he be the law of in this way, the year up and down. I don't break everything down. So, now, subsequent video, now we solve problem and they apply the law for those questions, those problems. If you want to make a dwarf, for comment section and if you want 
make I continue on the series of these indices. Let me know too. But make sure to encourage you by liking this video. Just use like, finish me. Like them and then share them. If you come out, you know, like them. It means you know even Google like which I don't do so far. Thank you so much uh, for your support with the support since that one they suit me. Me, I don't come out too. <laughs> I don't I don't finish. Share this video before that today. Make this thing will be useful too. Peace and love.